Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports, and today I want to talk about the Boston Celtics. The Celtics had an amazing Game 1 win against the Brooklyn Nets, but I don't want to talk about that Game 1 win. I want to talk about an award that was handed down to a player on the Boston Celtics. What's the player's name? What award did he win? We'll talk about it right here on Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, it's award season in the NBA and the 2021-2022 Defensive Player of the Year goes to Boston Celtics guard Marcus Smart. Now, guards don't normally win this award. I mean, Smart's the first primary guard since Gary Payton to win Defensive Player of the Year. And Peyton won that award in 95 and 96. I mean, it's been a very long time since a primary guard has taken this award. It's been an award that's been dominated by the center position. So Smart's season this year was absolutely fantastic defensively. I mean, let me go over some numbers for the Boston Celtics in general. He, The Boston Celtics had... The best defense in the NBA this past season, and the heart and soul of their defense was Marcus Smart. The Celtics led the NBA in 2021-2022 in defensive rating with 106.2, points allowed per game at 104.5. They also led the NBA with the lowest opponent field goal percentage with 43.4% and tied the Miami Heat and Golden State Warriors for opponent three-point field goal percentage at 33.9%. So the Boston Celtics as a team was very good defensively, and it had to do with the on-ball enforcer in Marcus Smart. Now, Smart individually also had a phenomenal year for the Boston Celtics. I mean, he finished first in the NBA and loose balls recovered per game, 1.1. You see Marcus Smart play. He dives all over the place. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable to watch him play on both ends on a nightly basis. He had 3.2 defensive rebounds per game, which is the most in his career. He's fifth among guards in defensive rating with 105.2. He was seventh. In steals per game with 1.68 steals per game. And he finished 10th in the NBA in de- total deflections and charges drawn for the 2021-2022 season. Now, many of you probably thought this award could go to a guy like Mikael Bridges. Bridges played for a very, very, very good Phoenix Suns team that had the best record in the NBA. Um, Had a very good team defense, did deal with some injuries throughout the season, specifically towards the end with Chris Paul, who's also a very good defensive player. But when you look at the Boston Celtics and look at Marcus Smart, I mean, the numbers just say it all. The Celtics had the best defense in the NBA. Why? They had one of the best defensive players in the league in Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart finished top 10 in almost every major defensive statistical category. And when you look at the Boston Celtics, Their turnaround, specifically defensively, is why they were able to finish this NBA season with a 51-31 and record and have the two seed in an extremely competitive Eastern Conference. The Celtics, at one point, weren't even in a play-in game. They had a team that wasn't the smoothest defensively outside of Marcus Smart. They had a team that struggled to move the basketball. We were talking about, earlier in the season potentially moving on from a Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown because the two of them didn't complement each other enough to win games in the NBA. Here we are in the playoffs. We have a first-round matchup against the Brooklyn Nets as the two-seed, and those conversations are out the door. Why? The Celtics started playing quality defense. And what makes defense a hell of a lot easier? Having one of your best players covering the opposing team's best player on a nightly basis. And it doesn't really matter what size the players are that Smart is guarding. How many times have you seen Marcus Smart go one-on-one for a block situation and block a shot for someone who's five to six inches taller than him? You want to specifically give you want me to specifically give you an example? Look back at the Charlotte Hornet tape when he was one-on-one with Kelly Oubre and stuffed him at the rim. I mean, we see Smart guarding guards. We see Smart guarding forwards. The Celtics have the ability to switch defensively, and if Smart's on the ball, it, they're, they're not concerned. 
I mean, what the Celtics did in 2022, specifically from a turnaround defense standpoint defensively, was absolutely freaking phenomenal. And why did they do it? Because Marcus Smart was able to shut opponents down for this team. Smart absolutely deserved to win this award. Now, Mikhail Bridges and Rudy Gobert are very good defensive players or guys we could expect to hear their name potentially called again down the road. Gobert, I think, has already won the award three times. It could be a yearly candidate for this award for how well he plays in the paint for the Utah Jazz. But when you look at this award, you look for someone who can defend multiple positions. Smart does that. Someone who's a leader of an elite defense. Well, you look at the numbers, the Celtics are first in defensive rating, points allowed per game, lowest field goal percentage, and lowest three-point shooting percentage in the league. That doesn't happen overnight. This award went to the right player. And heck, the fact that this is Smart's first award is honestly surprising. He's been one of the best defensive players in basketball since he joined the league eight seasons ago. And it's about damn time he took home the award for the Boston Celtics. So there's awards where I disagree with. And there may be some that get announced very soon because I think the NBA royally screwed up with their most improved player of the year award because the guy who should win the award isn't even a candidate. But this is one the sports writers did not screw up. Marcus Smart is the best defensive player in basketball, and he is finally taking home the award as the best defensive player in the league in 2021-2022. What do you think of the award for Defensive Player of the Year? Do you believe Marcus Smart deserved to win the award? Do you think it should have gone to a Bridges or a Gobert? Feel free. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.